right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the intro to the song Evangeline from the Double Live Jerry Garcia Band album. All right, so this version comes from April 15th, 1990 at the Warfield. And this is actually a day after the show from which That's What Love Will Make You Do comes from. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you can find a link up in the top corner. All right, so Evangeline was written by Los Lobos and appeared on their first album, How Will the Wolf Survive, in 1984. And Jerry Garcia has been playing this song with his band from about 1986 through 1995, and they played it around 60 times. There really isn't anything too difficult with this song, so I'm not going to spend much time going through and breaking down the phrases. Uh, the hard part comes from the fact that it's played fast. So this video will focus more on um, learning the song and then getting it up to speed. All right, so Evangeline is in the key of D and um, we're gonna start off by playing in seventh position and we're working out of a G cage shape of a D chord. All right, and the kickoff bar sounds like this. So we're sliding from the 7th to the 9th fret of the 4th string. Then we have 7th fret to the 3rd and 2nd strings. Then 9, 7 on the 4th. Then we play these three strings on the 7th fret, or the 4th, 3rd, 2nd strings. And then we just have double stops, 4th and 3rd strings. So that's playing out of the D chord. Then we repeat that opening phrase, and then we have all right. So leading into the A chord, finishing up the D, leading into the A chord, we have so seven on third, seven on fourth, hammer onto the ninth fret of the fourth. Then we have seven on the third, seven on the fourth. 10th fret of the 5th, then 8 to 9, so that's our flat 3rd to major 3rd. Then we have 7, 9, 7, 9 on the 4th, 7 on the 4th, 7 on the 3rd, then we're going to slide 9 on the 4th up to 11 on the 4th, and then we're going to be working out of this C cage shape of an A chord. So we move from D to A. Then we have the 12th fret on the 3rd string, that's G, that's the flat 7th of A. Then we pull off 11 to 9 on the 3rd, then 11 on the 4th. Then we have 9 on the 3rd, then 10, hammer on 11 on the 4th, flat 3rd to major 3rd. 9 on the 3rd, then we're going to slide from 10th fret on the 4th down to 9th fret, 7th, then we have 9 on the 5th, back to 7 on the 4th. And then this is where the chords go D, G, A. So we have... And there's a break, and then we have a pick up to the next half. All right, so that's seven on the third, then seven, nine, seven on the fourth, so that's hammer on pull off, then nine on the fourth, seven on the third, then we have nine on the fourth, then we're gonna play that again, but slide up to the 11th fret. Then we have our break, then we're gonna play we're going to slide from 7 to 9 on the 4th string, and this starts on the second beat. So we have that break, and then we have... So 7 slide to 9 on the 4th, 7 on the 3rd. Then he kind of grabs that 7th fret on the 4th string, although you can barely hear it. And then we have 9 slide...
slide to 11 on the third string. Then we play the 10th fret on the second string. We're back to a D chord, and then he just slides off that. So let me play what we have so far. Alright, and then we're going to pull off 10, 9, 8, and slide down to 7 on the 2nd string. Then we have 7 on the 2nd, pre-bend that ninth fret up a whole step on the 3rd string, release and pull off. Then 9, 7 on the 3rd. 9 on the 4th, 7 on the 3rd. Alright, so still playing over a G. We're going to slide from 8 to 9 on the 4th string. That's our flat 3rd to major 3rd. Then our root G, 10th fret of the 5th string. Then we're going to slide from 7 to 9 on the 4th string. 7 to 9 on the 3rd, and then we're going to bend that up almost a full step. It's really 3 quarters of a step, and a good time to note this, like if you see that's the way, um, that's what Love Will Make You Do, check out a bunch of songs, and you'll see that uh, when Jerry does a full step bend, it's actually in between a half step and a full step, and it gives a very distinctive flavor, and it's worth noting for sure. Alright, so we hold that bend up and then we play the ninth fret by itself on the third string. Then he kind of hits a ghosted ninth fret on the fourth. Then we have seven on the third, nine, eight, seven on the fourth. So we're back to a D chord that's all played over. And then we have our A, one bar of A, one bar of D. So for the bar of A, we play. And then D, we land on the 5th fret of the 5th string, which is a D. Then we pl we hold a D chord like this. If you're Jerry, you play it like this. And then we um, just kind of strum the chord with accents on the um, ands. So we have... And we put all that together and we get this. Alright, then we have a whole measure rest and Jerry starts singing. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is play it uh, with the tab on the screen. I'm going to play it in a few different um, tempos. So I'm going to start slow, about half speed, and then work up to full speed. Alright, so get this under your fingers um, and try to play along with at least the slowest version. Then work your way up. And then in no time, see if you can get up to full speed. And then at that point, Start working on variations.
hope you enjoyed this lesson. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.